Hello, all my YouTube stacker friends, collectors, silver pourers, numismatic people, and everyone else in uh, our wonderful precious metals community. I've got another unboxing. This time it's silver. And yes, I'm going to get back on my tag team stacking stump for a little bit. This is a package from my, my good friend Rick G. Uh, me and Rick have been friends for quite a long time. Um, was subbed to his channel, following him way before he actually started doing live streams. So it, it's been a while. Uh, we've got to be good friends. Um, met him. Had the pleasure of having him and his wife. The lovely Julie Serene to my home for a visit. Uh, really enjoyed it. They're just great people, top notch, salt of the earth. You gotta love them. Um, the way this came came down, uh, somebody offered Rick a pretty good deal on some silver. Uh, but to get that deal, he had to buy everything that uh, this person was selling. Ooh, there's one. And uh, he called me, asked me if I would be interested in going in on it. And of course I was. And we've done this many, many times. Um, going both ways. Um, He's found some, some decent deals and, and let me in on them. And uh, that's gone both ways. And it's it's always worked out really well for, for the both of us. Woo, son, he got this wrapped up. I should have got a bigger knife. But yeah, Rick and I have done a lot of business together over the years. Uh, never been disappointed, never been unsatisfied. He's, like I said, just top-notch, salt-of-the-earth guy. And uh, Rick and his wife, Julie, and Silver Steeler and Winning Image are the only YouTubers I've met in person so far. Uh, hope that changes soon. Because uh, I made a, a lot of good friends on YouTube. When I first started listening to YouTube videos, watching YouTube videos, I, I watched them for a couple of years. Never never even made a comment for a couple of years. And, and somewhere along the line, I made a comment and started making other comments on other videos. And uh, ended up making a lot of really good friends. It's it's fantastic. A little, it, I was surprised, but um, my friendship with Rick is uh, has been a really good one. Uh, I can say the same about several several others out there. But this, long story short, this is my part of the deal. <laughs> I think I just pulled the top off. Ah, I'm making a mess. Well, let's just, uh, let me tip this down where we can see what's in this bad boy. Uh, Buffalo, buffaloes. Monument metal. Monument metal, monument metal. I expect all these probably to be generic. Sunshine mint, sunshine mint, ting, sunshine mint, ting, sunshine. Yep. Sunshine minting. There's the reverse. Uh, the majority of these 
Oop. Ooh. I like that. Silver bullet. Silver shield. Freedom round. Yeah. I don't think. Ah, my light. I don't think she's going to be melted. Another one. Ho, ho, ho. Is this the Welsh dragon? Which one is this? Oh, dragons. It's fine, silver. And it doesn't say. I don't know. I'm thinking. I can't read it. I think it's a Welsh dragon. You guys probably know more about these than I do. And another one. Boom. Not all generic. Oh, Aztec calendar round. I know exactly what those are. Busy coin. They're a uh, st stealer. He likes his busy coins. Another one. Boom. Ah. I've had several of these. The little. One ounce, it says life, liberty, happiness. A little stack of rounds. Another one. They got the little serrated edges where they stack. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. They're, they're generics, but they're all one ounce silver. You can't beat that. Oh, there's some more goodies in here. 99 kangaroo, lizard, lizard, kangaroo, 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 yeah, Ooh, these are four nines fine, I might have to glaze another whipping dish, uh, 2020 Korea, uh, taekwondo, one ounce, Sorry, man. I'm I'm not looking at the screen. I'm looking at my coins. I'm probably glaring everything out. But it is what it is because I do not know how to edit. So you get the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, welcome to Liberty Round. Sweet. Another Welcome to Liberty. Oh, this is different. I think I remember having some of these back in the day. I believe this is more of a vintage round because if I remember right, back when I was stacking around 2000, 2001, I was picking up a lot of these, several tubes of these. And I think they had a little age on them then. Don't quote me on that. I'm, I think. Another buffalo. You gotta love. American Indian or buffalo. Ho ho. What's this? One troy ounce. Three nines plus fine silver. Ah. New A. Two dollar. With the lizard. Don't tell anybody. Oh, see, I could tell by the field in that. I knew exactly what that was. It's a Britannia. I like the Britannias. A, a lot of people aren't big fans of them. This one is... Ah, 2016. Cool. I, I, I like these. Another. Britannia. 2016. Got a Canadian maple leaf. 
2008. Got a little spotting on it. That's all right. That's four, four nine's fine. That goes in that pile. Oh, this is part of the Canadian Wildlife Series. The, the, the bison, buffalo, whatever you want to call it. I think it's considered a bison. $5, 2013. Yeah, we'll keep the pretty side up. Another maple leaf. Sweet. Another maple. Man, I'm getting a lot of four nines fine. Rick, thank you, buddy. Another one. Oh, look at here. We've got a Kruger Ran, 2018. Second year they made them. Those 17s are hard to find. And if you can find them, they're expensive. These are pretty cool. I, I like these. Another Krug. Love that. Antelope. Gimsbog, whatever it is. I think it's an antelope. 2018. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. Oh, we got a little bit of spotting on the lizard lizard polar bear one and a half ounce got a little down with a thickness you can't beat thickness well sometimes you can but 2013 eight dollar i love it love it love it love it love it Rick, my brother, I appreciate you involving me with this deal. Oh, and a little Silvertown bar. I've got several of these, and they're all bound for the whipping dish. What was I saying? Yeah, Rick, thank you, buddy. I, I appreciate it. Um, be talking to you soon um, I've had this for a couple of weeks but uh finally got it done I uh, apologize for the delay I know you weren't in, a, in any hurry but tag team stacking folks if you and your buddy you know friend relative somebody on YouTube you trust if uh you know, if, if you run across a deal and there's more in there than you want to take part in, involve one of your friends. They will pay you back. Me and Rick have done it several times. Um, just one more way to tag team stack. Okay, that's it for tonight. Uh, everybody, take care. God bless. Peace.